Fisheries Victoria's Hatchery at Snobs Creek near Eildon boasts a long history since it was built in the 1950s. Odd has become a reliable producer of native fish for restocking in recent times. Its origins revolve around trout. Browns, rainbows and later Chinook salmon all grown to stock into Victorian waterways to improve freshwater fishing opportunities. Anglers have contributed to fish production at Snobs Creek for many years through their fishing licence fees and through their efforts as volunteers. Breeding trout at Snobs Creek requires healthy broodstock. These are the parent fish that produce eggs and milk every winter. Looking after these fish year round is essential for future production success. They must be in peak condition six months before spawning to ensure their egg quality is optimal. Males are sorted from females and their maturity levels are checked regularly to monitor their reproductive stage. Spawning occurs over a four to six week period during autumn and early winter. Brown trout are generally first, closely followed by the rainbows. Each female trout produces around 800 eggs per kilo of body weight. Our broodstock average 2 kilograms, so that's about 1600 eggs from each female. Once the females have been stripped of their eggs, the eggs are counted, then set down for 40 to 60 days in canisters through which cool water flows. This simulates the running of a natural stream, keeping the eggs well supplied with oxygen. In such high densities, disease prevention is important and the eggs are treated to prevent fungal infections. This leads us to the next and pretty exciting stage when the eggs become eyed. The eggs are now significantly more robust and sorting can commence to remove the ones that didn't make it and prepare the healthy ones for the next stage of production. Depending on water temperature, this transition occurs over several weeks. To ensure all the trout have access to food, fish densities in the hatching boxes are adjusted continuously. As the fish keep growing, they are moved within the hatchery to provide them with room and conditions to keep them healthy. Feed rates are set and monitored with growth plans to ensure they're ready for their scheduled release in 8 to 14 months. Future broodstock are separated at this stage for use in the breeding program in three years time. This is a random selection from the entire population to ensure genetic diversity is maintained. The trout are transferred to large raceways, each capable of holding two tonnes of fish, or between 3,000 and 90,000 fish, depending on their size. An automated grading machine sorts fish into three sizes. These are then passed through a sophisticated counter that's very accurate. It's one of the most advanced systems available to fish farmers and makes the job much easier. Managing the density of trout in the raisins is important for fish health and to help control aggression from these fast growing fish. Feed rates are set and delivered regularly by automatic feeding units. Feeding rates are monitored to achieve desired performance. Growing all our trout at the same rate is not the aim. We need a steady stream of stockable fish the following year so the stocking trucks can spread the job of delivery across six months. Trout and salmon prefer cooler water, so during the summer months their health is regularly monitored. We check the trout closely for tiny parasites. These were once a significant factor in growing trout at Snobs Creek, but improved farming practices have virtually eliminated parasite problems. To mimic the flow of a river, our trout raceways are designed to have constantly strong flowing water. Most trout are stocked between April and November when water temperatures are cooler and better suited to release. Each year, more than 600,000 trout and salmon are moved across the state in specially designed trucks, armed with oxygen to put into the water during the trip. 
releases a time so the trout are stocked to maximise survival and eventually angler returns. By the time the last trout have left the hatchery for the year, it is November and we're repeating the annual cycle. There's a new batch of fry on deck that are already two to three months old and brood stock conditioning is in full swing getting ready for the next spawning. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.